Hello. Today we're going to talk about John Wilkes Booth and his brother Edwin Booth. The Booth brothers. Edwin Booth and John Wilkes Booth were born to a British actor named Junius Brutus Booth. <laughs> Edwin is a favorite of their dad. Junius was so mean, he wouldn't even let John Wilkes into photographs with him. John Wilkes, stay back, man. Stay away, because you're not cool. Stop. You're kind of weird. You're weirding everybody out. Just back away. And he became sad, which establishes their rivalry. In 1858, John Wilkes and Edwin Booth were the most famous actors in the world. Performance-wise, everyone loved Edwin Booth. John Wilkes Booth, he was untrained. He would knock sets down. He was so violent. So when the Civil War broke out, John Wilkes Booth is like, Lincoln, what does it all mean? What is he talking about? Slavery. I don't even get it. That was the moment his political aspirations overtook artistic aspirations. However, Abraham Lincoln was requesting Edwin perform Shakespeare at government functions. Am I f***ing it up, guys? What's up, guys? Why is it f***ing it up? Okay, okay. Uh, okay. All right. At the Ford's Theater, when John Wilkes Booth was gesticulating, Abraham Lincoln's sister-in-law is like, I think he's pointing at you, Abraham. And Abraham Lincoln is like, it does seem like he's pointing at me. Uh, this is a little weird. He should, uh, you know, not be pointing at me during this particular line because it's a sort of aggressive. In November 1864, Edwin Booth is like, hey, you know, I want to get to know you better. We've had some hard times. Let's do a play together again. For one performance only, Julius Caesar. John Wilkes's favorite role was Brutus, the man that executes a tyrant. And Edwin Booth is like, I get to play Brutus. For one performance only, in the production of Julius Caesar, Edwin said, Six Semper Tyrannus, and everyone loves it. Critics said it was the most important show of all time. So John Wilkes Booth started getting involved with the secret Confederate society and had masterminded a plan to kidnap Lincoln. So John Wilkes Booth went to the Ford's Theater to pick up his mail, and John Ford's brother is like, hey, are you gonna come see our American cousin tonight? Our American cousin? You guys doing our American cousin tonight? Yeah. Abraham Lincoln's gonna be here. You should come. And John Wilkes Booth is like, oh, what? Abraham Lincoln's gonna be at the theater tonight? Oh my god, I'm going to change my plan from kidnapping him to a sense <laughs> 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 So Abraham Lincoln is at the play Our American Cousin with his wife, Mary Todd. It's beautiful. Everything's going perfectly. Until John Wilkes Booth comes into their box. What? Where are we? John Wilkes Booth comes into their box and shoots Lincoln in the head. After he shot Lincoln, he jumped from the balcony, breaking his ankle. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and 
raising his knife in the air, he said, T pluribus unum. I don't remember what it is. Ah, oh, I can't remember what the it is. Oh, I wish I remember. Oh. Wait, wait. Sick tyrannous tempus. No more tyranny, you know, basically. That's John Wilkes Booth. And he's hanging a line from Julius Caesar. And he's like, this is fucking perfect. And everybody gets what I'm doing right now. After Abraham Lincoln's assassination, Edwin Booth decides to write a letter to America saying, I am retiring from acting as a penance for what my brother did. His horrifying act, I'm done. Five months after Abraham Lincoln is buried, Edwin Booth is like, I'm back. Everybody relax. I'm doing our American cousin. I know that's the one that my brother assassinated Abraham Lincoln during, <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna do. And everyone loves it. And he's back because he's kind of egotistical. No one ever talks about Edwin Booth. Do you guys want to put a pizza in the oven?